As we know, by using standard Vim keys to navigate right, we have to press L, and to navigate left, we have to press H. But sometimes on operating system macOS, pressing and holding motion keys may not work. So to enable key repetition on macOS, we can run the following command in the terminal, which will enable key repetition feature. And after this, key repetition feature should work. But also, if you are not fully satisfied with the speed how cursor moves around, we can adjust the following settings that are inside of keyboard section of macOS settings. But for me, even if I'll set maximum value for both of these configuration options, the speed with which cursor moves around is not enough for me. So I'm going to run two additional commands inside terminal, which is going to make caret movements even faster. For the first setting, which is called initial key repeat, I'm going to specify value 10. And for the other one, which is called key repeat, I'm going to use value 1. And both of these commands, as well as the previous command, which enables key repetition feature, I'm going to leave in the video description. Also, to learn more about what each of these command does, you can read on this Stack Overflow page. And after we have run all these commands, we may need to restart the computer. So after this, if we're going to move around in the file once again, we're going to notice that current this time moves much faster. Next, as you know, to quit insert mode in Vim, we can use escape key. But pressing escape key every time we want to quit insert mode is not really convenient. So what I usually do is I redefine caps lock key to act as escape key. On macOS, we can redefine this key inside keyboard settings. We have to search for modifier keys settings. And inside this dialog, we can redefine several keys. As you can see, for caps lock key, I have chosen escape key. And now, anytime I'm going to press caps lock key, it is going to act as escape key. So which means to quit insert mode, I can easily press caps lock, which is much more convenient to press than escape, while holding all the fingers in the standard position. Also, there is another option to quit insert mode by pressing J key twice, which is also a pretty popular way to quit insert mode. So to enable this shortcut, we have to insert the following setting inside keybindings.json. This is a file where we redefine keyboard shortcuts inside VS Code. And by adding this chunk of code, now we're gonna be able to quit insert mode by pressing J key twice. Let's try it out. So now I'm going to activate insert mode by pressing I. And then if I'm gonna have to leave, I just need to press J twice. As we can see, it works. But I don't use this option to quit insert mode. I prefer using caps lock. So I'm gonna remove this setting from here. Let's continue reviewing VS Code NeoVim extension in the next lesson. And once again, all the comments that we have run in this lesson will be in the video description.